Laid off workers say President Joe's cancellation of the pipeline will negatively impact their futures, according to multiple outlets. Labor groups have said that the cancellation eliminated 1,000 union jobs and could erase 10 times more construction jobs that the would have offered, according to. In 2014, the estimated that Keystone would have offered jobs for 10,400 construction workers over several seasons. It's hard to make plans when you've got an administration that's trying to crush your future, an unnamed Keystone worker told. The best stimulus they could do for this country right now is keep people working. Tyler Now, a Keystone worker in South Dakota, told that he needs the pipeline job. Anything that was coming in the next few months was supposed to be Keystone. Knowles, if I hadn't saved my money through the years I would really be in a bind. But I'd say I've got at least three months, then I'm gonna have to do some. I wish he hadn't done that on the first day, said AFL-CIO Dooxios on HB. It did and will cost us jobs in the process. I wish he had paired that more carefully with the thing he did second by saying, here's where we're creating jobs. The administration has proposed a solution to the job losses by creating job opportunities and oil and gas industry workers can be the people who go to work to make the solar panels. Climate Envoy John Kerry told Reap signed the executive canceling the project on his first day in office and to cut back on oil and gas. The states that the administration will prioritize job creation and renewable. We will combat the climate crisis with an ambitious plan to build back better, designed to both reduce harmful emissions and create good clean energy. Many Keystone workers believe that the switch to clean energy jobs would mean starting over. Report content created by the Daily Caller Foundation is available without charge to any eligible news publisher that can provide a large audience. For licensing opportunities of our original content, please contact.